So this is what it looks like on my TV. On my, this is a 27 inch monitor. Look at that, nice. Xbox controller over here. And uh, let's do shoot 'em ups. And centipede. Got a little loading screen. Let's see if I can play this with one hand. Oh, I used my special on accident. Can you play and record at the same time with no tripod? No. I'm not dead yet. Oh. Oh boy. All right, you guys get it, right? Pretty cool, right? I like it. See, it fills almost all the screen. So we have Scooney coming with an updated Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus vertical build. So what does that mean? Look, it's vertical and you're watching this on a widescreen so it's not filling up all your space. But I can assure you I'm actually, I'm recording on my capture card but I'm actually have this on my monitor that all I've done is I've flipped it sideways or vertical and so now it's, you know, it's filling up my whole screen. So. I do have this running dual displays right now, one through the capture card, one through here, and it's working just fine. Now, Scooney, he uh, reached out to me. He's like, I updated my old image, and I believe his old image made like my top five. You can check out my video when I reviewed a bunch of these vertical builds, and I'm st I still got a lot of love for the vertical builds. I have one vertical arcade cabinet, and then also, you know, it's kind of cool to switch your monitor around and ch check this out. It really does feel like an arcade. A lot of older arcades were more of a vertical style, so that's really cool as you see as i scroll through here there's a lot of collections and things and it's not just arcade games you have you know some eclectic um games now some of these console games are not going to fill your whole vertical screen you're going to have uh pretty wide bars on the top and the bottom but um a lot of the um the arcade games work really well he also has some background music pre-installed uh on here as well and then you can have your chromium if you want to play like Netflix or YouTube, although it's not going to run that great on the Raspberry Pi 3, uh, but it'll run. And then you also have your Pixel desktop, a shortcut to your power. And then I went to options over here. This looks like it's an older version of the Weird Dirty Gaming's base image, which I'm, which is great because as you see here, it has all sorts of scripts pre-installed for you, um, whether you use them or not. I think some of the more uh, important ones are like your audio fixes. Some of you are running this through uh, computer speakers. Some of you are running this through HDMI. And especially when you're talking vertical builds, I feel like the audio, um, the the kind of the tricked out audio is a little different. When you're thinking about a horizontal themed RetroPie build, most people are playing that through their big screen TVs or their computer, which already has like computer speakers set on the in the monitor, or you already have your computer speakers set up in a way that you can just plug them in. Now, um, so that's really nice with the options. And then uh, what's my overall thoughts of the image? It's, it's nice. Um, it's an interesting collection. It's only 64 gigabytes, so it's really small, which is good. And the Raspberry Pi 3B and 3B Plus are really cheap, so it makes for a really cheap retro gaming experience. I do like the addition of Sega Master System, Sega Genesis. I believe it's around 2,000 games. We can go to all games over here, about 1,700 games. If there's no favorites, you can add your own favorites. Last play, these are some of the games I've been playing. I've been, I've been kind of in a pinball mood lately, and I was like, this image would be really good with pinball. The one thing I noticed about pinball is because of the limitations of the Raspberry Pi um, 3, you're not going to have a pinball FX, for example. No way in hell. But um, you do have, like, a lot of these games are a lot of great shooters. And then, um, you know, pinball, there's still a lot of classic ones, like the verse pinball and things, and we'll play those um, a little later. So, um, in arcade classics as a whole, a lot of really good games in here as well. You know, some classic arcade games. Pretty much a full collection here at 1145. Atari 7800, you actually only have about 20 games or so. And here are the games. You do have video snaps here in this theme. I forget what this theme is called. Um, UI settings. Vertical limit, vertical theme. It looks like it has a couple other vertical themes on here as well. I'm going to leave it on there for now. I don't want to mess anything up. You can check out the other theme though if you want. Oh, I want to go back. Okay. 
Chromium, we talked about that. That's a web browser for like YouTube, Netflix, stuff like that. But a lot of you aren't going to use it. Family computer disk system, you got 35 games here. Sega Genesis Hacks, you got eight games. This is a really great game here. Fix It Felix. All right, you got the Flashpoint, which looks like a Tetris port. Sega Master System, 28 games. Sega Genesis, 66. And as you see, a lot of these games are games that you can hopefully still play. This game's kind of more was way better on a on a non on a more of a landscape horizontal but whatever so it looks like it's not all just a lot of game show stuff oh it does have a uh, marble madness great arcade game um nintendo you got what did it say 186 and then hacks you got 26 so i'm not going to go through every single game but i'll go through some of these hacks in case you're curious the hacks are kind of fun. Pixel, this is your desktop power. It's just a shortcut to turn on and off your... You can also just go hit start and then quit with your... Hit the start button on your controller. It does the same thing. PlayStation, 37 games. But if you notice, they're mostly arcade classics <clears throat> and a lot of pinball games. Bomberman. Although Crash Bandicoot's kind of random. Threw in some other stuff. Yeah, you got Kiss Pinball. The thing I didn't like about a lot of the, these pinball games in that in that generation around the 2000s is that you could you a lot of them didn't necessarily offer you a fixed view see like that's good fixed view right there but like when the ball goes all the way to the top it follows the ball and it's really hard to kind of keep your oh it does have pepsi man on it and it does have the newer pong so a lot of pong a lot of you know ball games on here road rash okay so that's where the majority of your of your data is now that's kind of random i guess he likes sega cd like, I don't know why you would put so many Sega CD games on here. Especially if it's a vertical build. I would have rather like to see more vertical style games for for other systems. Uh, Super Famicom, 38. Super NES, 71. You got like Bust a Move and stuff. Super Nintendo Hacks. <laughs> Lots of... Uh, Lots of hacks here. Super Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Alright. Um, TurboGrafx CD. You got 7. TurboGrafx 16, you got 59. A lot of the Bombermans. If you like Bomberman, look no further. Hattress. I've never played this. But looks funny. <laughs> Alright. Um, and a few others here. Cave. So this is just going to be games that are in your arcade set, but really good games. Pac-Man, all your different Pac-Man games. So lots of Pac-Man, lots of pinball, as I said, but they're, none of them are modern pinball. Kiss, I think, would be like the most modern. Or one of these, one of the ones for PlayStation. Shoot them up. So honestly, if this was my arcade image, I'd be spending most of my time in here, here in pinball. But that's just me. So many shoot em ups. Like, OMG. Yeah, a lot. And that's it. That's the image here. So, not too bad. Let's go ahead and check out some gameplay. I wonder if I can change the view. This view sucks. I don't know where the ball is. Oh, oh I tilted it. Okay. I like that there's no gutter in this game. <clears throat> Collect bonus. Playing this with a D-pad is not so, uh, or with a analog stick is not so good. Alrighty then, so there you have it, Scooney, 64 gigabyte image, looking good. If this is the kind of image you're looking for, look at it. I mean, it's exactly what you know you're looking for. I can recommend that it's on a really good base image. It's running well. It worked out of the box. No customization needed to ask for your controls, so it's very newbie friendly. All the games I loaded loaded with no issue. Uh, it did have like the background music on, which I turned it off. There's like some 8-bit versions of like popular 2000 songs, like for example, the Friends theme song and some other songs I recognize, but I forgot the artist's name. But they're like that 16-bit versions of them. 
anyways um you know you can easily turn that stuff off though in options so i'll give this one a as far as vertical builds go it's definitely in the a minus to a category it could be a new go-to this theme is amazing like you so if you put this on like a smaller monitor these big buttons are going to really come in handy and look great in an arcade cabinet or something like that so i'm liking it i like the game selection a lot of really good some stuff i'm like why was that thrown in there but at the same time he's at 64 gigabytes here i mean he's not it's not like he made it 128 or 256 and you're like why the hell is it so big you know a lot of that stuff on there is not necessary so as far as like the trimming of the fat the fat is pretty well trimmed here um so that's pretty good too um anyways that's what i think let me know what you all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one